Greetings and welcome to evening prayer. For our prayer tonight, I chose to again use the book that we used last night, Prayer Talk, Casual Conversation with God by William Coleman. Last night, you may have noticed that I added my own words and phrases in an effort to make this more relevant to the times that we are actually living in. I will continue to do that this evening. So I invite you now to enter into that space where you meet the divine. The prayer that I chose for this evening is entitled Joy. I chose it because it reminded me of that petition in the Our Father, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We reflected on the fact that God's will is the well-being of all of humanity and creation. Trusting that our God is with us, trusting in the promise that Jesus gave that when two or more were gathered in his name, he was with us, and trusting that the Holy Spirit is alive and well, we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I had a conversation with God, and it went like this. God said, I was thinking today about the believers and how easily they forget the message of Jesus. I agree, God. We get really caught up in all the rules, and we forget about the, what Jesus taught us, the message in those Gospels. Yes, true, but what I was thinking is about joy. Joy, if you remember, is one of the fruits of the Spirit. That means you are full of joy. The Spirit is dwelling within you. Well, dear God, right now, we have very little time for joy. We have problems in the world. We have a pandemic. We have pressures with our families. Those of us who have children are expected to teach them. We're also expected to work from home and to provide stability for our families. Some people don't even have a job. Others are struggling with hunger. Others are suffering grief beyond compare because their loved ones have died from the virus. Each day, we must face more and more pressing problems. God said, Yes, you do. You must. And so must I. But in the kingdom of God, we somehow manage joy. You tend to overlook it, even to suspect its simple smile. Okay, God, so do you mean we should be less concerned, less worried? Shouldn't work for the good? and less concerned about those in need, our suffering neighbors? Not at all. But you could remember that your struggle is never totally successful. The world is never completely converted. Relax and remember that after all is said and done, the world is in my hands. I am responsible for it. So when I relax, 
God, I feel joy. Right. And then you know that what you do is done for me, with me, and my spirit lives within you. The story tonight reminds me of the story of St. Joan of Arc. Listen. Some people said she was a simple woman. Others were angered by her composure and eternal smile. Those who knew her laughed at the idea of her being simple and smiled to themselves at the trouble this woman's composure caused both on her right and on her left. Some people resented the woman so deeply that they trumped up charges against her and cast her into jail. In time, she was executed. After her execution, well, that's another story. This woman was Jesus come again, once more misunderstood, rejected, imprisoned, and put to death. What happened once is repeated time and time again. Even good people can forget the will of God. They may champion the best of causes, the right to life, the right of workers, the position of women in society, liberty of those who are oppressed, rights of the poor. The problem is, however, that they have forgotten how to laugh. They take upon themselves some of the world's burdens and narrowly focus their attention on carrying them. In the process of becoming committed and concerned, they forget that they are no more than instruments in the hands of God. At the root, no matter how much they deny it, they have become atheists. They live as if the world depended on them and not on God. They never smile, never laugh, never relax, never know the smile of God within their hearts. Joy is the signature in the kingdom of God. It is of the Holy Spirit. And when joy is absent, spirit is too. As we take leave of one another tonight, let us call upon our patron saints, St. Joan of Arc, and St. Catherine of Alexandria. St. Joan heard St. Catherine's voice and believed it was a word that came from God. It is what gave her the strength and the courage to move forward as she did. May they guard and protect us this evening. And may in the morning's light we rise with joy-filled hearts to live a new day. Good night and God bless.